Hello. Today I'm going to show you around the new Triometric version 7 reporting interface and demonstrate some of the improvements. The first improvement you will notice is that all pages have a new contemporary look with a common theme throughout. The report menu has a new search facility which allows users to find reports and folders by name. You may also notice that the icon set has changed. The key at the top explains the new standard report object icons and the icons for alerts and schedules are clearer than before making it obvious that a schedule or alert has been set. Many of the actions that are used less frequently, such as move, copy, change permissions and delete, are now accessible via the report actions menu, shown now. Opening a report immediately shows some new improvements. To enhance visualization, charts now utilize as much horizontal real estate as they can and the color schemes have been amended for greater contrast between chart series. There have also been some changes to chart types. This report shows how stacked columns can now be used in combination charts. In this example, we have a stacked column with a line showing the number of requests. We also have some other chart types, such as scatter. The scatter chart allows you to visualize extreme values very quickly. Another new chart is area range. This displays the difference between two values. This particular chart shows the difference between the number of days in advance that customers search and book hotels with the shaded area representing the customer thinking time in days. An option to display the percentage change and actual change is now available for all measurements on a chart with comparisons. This report shows the day on day percentage change and actual change in revenue by agent. The new change measurements can be added to charts by clicking on the percentage symbol next to each measurement and selecting the desired option. Major changes have also been made to the filter editor. As well as the new look, you can see a new in operator which allows you to enter multiple values in one condition without having to create lots of OR conditions. You now have the ability to be able to search for filterable fields. In this case, I shall search for URL. It gives me all of the options and simply click on it to select it. I will add a simple example. So URL equals index.html, for example. If I wish to add another filter, I can click on the plus button to do so. To remove it, I have an action button which I can either remove or duplicate. I shall remove the null entry that I created and I shall give you an example of this new duplicate feature. By duplicating, I can then say URL equals index.html. By default, when you duplicate, it will put it or set it to an AND condition and if I wanted let's say CSS dot CSS now I don't want this to be an AND condition so I can now take use of this new feature of being able to move by simply dragging on the drag bar drag it below this plus and I will now have an OR operator so you can now simply move your your conditions you've created between AND and OR very easily. 
I shall cancel this filter as I don't really want it. Another new feature is breadcrumbs which are available on all pages. These let you know the location and the name of the report you are using and are also useful for quick navigation. So if I want to go back to the report menu, simply click on reports and I'll be there. The last feature I'm going to show you today is the new scheduler. Scheduling a report starts in a similar way to version 6 by clicking on the report schedule button on the right hand side of the screen. If there are no schedules associated with report, a wizard will pop up which offers an easy way to create a new schedule. The first page of the wizard confirms the status of the schedule, the type and the time of the latest data in the database. I can click next. Page 2 defines the frequency and range. The Export Actions page now allows you to create new actions on the fly or choose from a list of existing export actions. Previously in version 6 you had to navigate to a separate screen. Once you click Save, you're done and the schedule is set. That's all for now. Thank you for listening.